Welcome church family, I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, before the service starts, we've got a few announcements for you, or maybe you're watching this in the week catching up. I'm so glad uh, you are here because the announcements, while it's not the sermon or the worship, are really important. So church, I wanna remind you about the most exciting announcement I have for us. And that is that we are coming back together on the 18th of October to have in-person live worship, live preaching in the auditorium. It's as close to normal church as it was back on the 15th of March, the last time we gathered. And so church, we are so, so, so very excited for this. We're so excited, in fact, that we're having a kids offering at the 9.30 service and a kids offering at our 5 p.m. service because we want it to be open to as many people as possible. You still have to pre-register for the service of Obviously, uh, we still have to do all the COVID checks. There will be social distancing. There will be everything that you've come to expect in this new COVID world. But what we are so excited for in the social distancing time is the live worship and live preaching. Man, I'm so very excited for this. So church, won't you join us as we continue to pray for this as we come back. Uh, as we come back stronger and as we come back because we're better together. Our last two sermon series. On Sunday the 18th of October, while we are gathering in person, our online serv uh, services will still continue. So if you are unable to attend our in-person gatherings, don't worry, we will still be giving you our online offerings. The only difference is it won't be live anymore. We don't have the ability to do live studio church and in-person church. And so our online services will be recorded on a Friday or a Thursday. We're still figuring out those details and then we'll bring them to you on a Sunday morning. So don't worry, if you can't join us in person, you can still join us as we worship our awesome God. Um, we also obviously need a lot of help to pull off these kinds of services. There's temperature checks, there's signing in, there's uh, um, a whole host of new things that we have to do. And so if you're keen to be involved in this, um, I'm gonna send an email to the normal volunteers. But if you're keen to be involved, there is a link that's uh, on our website or in the service right now that you can click on to say, hey, sign me up. I want to be a part of what, uh, as we come back stronger. So please click on that link if you're keen to be involved. And then lastly, church, just a reminder, if you're currently watching this in our in-person watch parties, please remember you have to wear your mask over your mouth and nose at all times, especially when you're singing. Um, and also when you are after the service, make sure you can maintain social distancing. So that's it for Announcements Church. We love you. We are so excited for the 18th of October. I cannot wait to come back. And uh, if we, I don't see you on the 18th of October, I hopefully we'll see you soon. We love you, church. Cheers. Hey Brett, you forgot one more thing. Church, as you know, at our virtual AGM a couple of weeks ago, we voted on a resolution regarding our new leadership structure. And so nominations will be closing for our new group of shepherding elders on Sunday the 18th of October. So if there is somebody that you would like to nominate for the role and you've prayerfully considered that, uh, the nomination forms as well as information on nominations is in the Street Times. Thanks.